What you need to do, first of all, is recognize where the equal sign is. Because where the equal sign is, that's like the science word fulcrum, the balancing point is. And everything that's on the left side has to equal everything that's on the right side. Okay, it has to stay balanced. So what you do to one side, you have to do to the other. Okay, so we have x plus 4 is equal to 12. I want x by itself. So basically what I want is the 4 to go away. I still want the x, but I want the 4 to go away. So there's multiple processes. Some of you might think subtract 4. Um, I am going to always add, and the reason why I'm always going to add is because later on when you have positive and negatives, it's going to be easier if you're thinking adding. Okay, but what I'm going to add to four so I get zero would be what? A negative four. Okay, so I'm going to add a negative four, add, whoops, add a negative four. When I do that, did everybody see what I just wrote down? You need to have this written down on your worksheet. When you turn in this worksheet for correcting, you have to show the steps. Okay? So everything I'm showing you to write, you have to have written on all of the problems. Okay? So we're going to subtract 4, subtract 4. Now, obviously, you can't do this in another color, but this is going to zero out. That's the whole purpose I want to do it. When I'm solving for a variable, I'm isolating that variable. I'm getting it all by itself. So in this case, to get it by itself, I'm going to add a negative 4, and then I get x equals 8. 8 plus 4 is 12. I know most of you, if not all of you, could have done all of that in your head and got 8. Yay! So the challenge today is to what? Learn how to write it, to get it, because eventually we're going to be getting to problems that are two, three steps, and you won't be, and fractions and decimals, you won't be able to do it in your head. Okay, you're going to have to write it down. All right, so number two, what do you think I'm going to add so I have just X on the left side? Three. To get a minus 3 to be 0, I'm going to add 3. Add 3. What I do to one side of the equation, I have to do to the other side of the equation. This will zero out here. That's the whole point of me doing it. And then I get x equals 9. Even though number four is written, or number three is written a little differently, you're still asking yourself, what do I have to do so that I get just X by itself? So what am I going to add on the left side? Number three, what am I going to add on the left side? A negative four. Okay, I'm going to add a negative four. Now, when I do this, I don't write the negative 4 under the x here. I write it under the 4. So I'm adding a negative 4 and adding a negative 4. This zeroes out, leaving me with just the x equals 7. Number four, notice I have the variable on the other side, but the process is going to be the same. I find my variable, and I ask myself, what do I have to add so I get just x on that side? Class, what am I, number four, what am I going to add to both sides? Nine, to get this minus nine to be zero, I have to add a positive 9, and then add 9. So I get 10, so I can do x. And the 
it doesn't matter if you wrote it 10 equals x or x equals 10. They're equal. You can write it either way. Number five. What am I going to write on both sides? What am I going to add to both sides? Negative three. Okay, so I'm adding a negative three to both sides. So I get x equals two. Now, if you can't do five plus a negative three in your head to get the right answer, then get out your calculator and do it. Okay, because eventually you're going to get positive and negative numbers and it's going to be a little bit more complex. You need to be able to get the right answer. Number six. What do I have to add to both sides? Four. I have to add four. So I'm going to add four, add four. And again, the challenge today isn't so much finding the answer. It is what am I going to write and where am I going to write it? Okay. And you get T equals 12. You might not need five minutes to uh, finish the worksheet, but go ahead, finish the worksheet before we do the next worksheet. Remember to write down, show your work, make sure it is legible, readable, not only to you, but to anybody else who's reading it. <laughs> 